Love, peace, and soul, Sagittarius. What's up, y'all? This is like, I can't even call it Venmuff anymore. <laughs> we gonna tap in from now into basically the first week of September, okay? All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. This has been a powerful and pivotal year, okay, for everyone. This eclipse season has been so soul cleansing what's that who's that in the background yes sagittarius what's going on child what's good mm. essential oil diffuser M O N Q. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely help uplifts your mood. Wow, patience, please. What's going on with y'all? Get some exercise. All right. Oh, yeah, get some exercise out in nature. Yeah, and then y'all a fire sign. So it's like, yo, this retrograde season is like, hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. The universe is like, hurry up and wait. That's all we gonna tell you. Hurry up, but you gotta wait. <laughs> so all that pent up energy You gotta get out. Mm, third eye. Winter. Creativity. Let's see. Clairvoyance. Reflection. Transition. Release. Yeah, because I feel like winter, because we know winter see winter time is y'all season anyway. Okay. Right. Y'all, y'all help to bring in winter. So I feel like that's when things are really gonna start to pop off for y'all. But you it's like you're paying your dues and you're being told to wait. Because that's not something that y'all are used to. <laughs> wow. But there's victory. Creati oh, wow. And then the creativity and you got the Empress card. Okay. So, when you use your creativity, right? When you use your creative gifts, modalities, whether it's to earn money, whether it's to share, or whether it's just to put it up in your apartment, right? Those things take time, okay? Whether you're an artist, you're a poet, you know, that's why they hold so much value and so much weight is because it takes so much time to really bring those things into fruition. A lot of energy, all right? Yeah, to create, to create a, a work of art, which is your life. But you have a lot of victory here for y'all. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me see what's going on here. You got the Eight of Pentacles too. Six of Wands. Public recognition. Public recognition. And I just did a reading. Right? Lionsgate Portal going out with a bang. And... I say, yeah, I was communicating with my higher self. And I feel like that's what this is. Okay, that purple, third eye, clairvoyance. Communicating with your higher self is key, pivotal. Letting your higher self actually come in at, and, and communicate with you because our higher self will be trying to communicate with us. And then we'll be like, well, we don't want to, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. Hold on, let me put a little clarifier on that. 
Because you got the deception card. Are you self-deceiving? Let's just see. Wheel of Fortune. The sun. Oh, wow. This is positive. I think you self-deceiving de yourself into thinking that things is not going to work out. And everything everything is, is on Gucci gravy. Everything is gravy. You got to wait for the wheel, the hands and the will of time to flip over. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why you're asked to have patience right now. Damn, that's so deep. See? And then you got the yellow hair dissipating. Confusion. That's where the confusion, because you got to wait. Guilt. And the orange again. And even the patience card is orange. All right. Let me just pull a crystal and then we can go in. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. I'm not going to read all the chakra cards. I might read the confusion. Because this is the highest crown chakra. So I'm going to read that confusion one. And the crystal. But let me show you everything that you got on the table. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, you pull too much cards. But it's all part of the story. It's all, it just, they all just confirm each other. That's all. Okay. Ah, citrine. Nice. Again, basically an orange crystal. <laughs> Patience, please. Because you have to, this is right underneath it, you have to connect with your third eye. You have to use your clairvoyance. To bring in your personal victories, your spiritual victories. Okay? How do you do that? By stilling yourself, by going out in nature. Okay, and then if you don't want to be still, don't be still. Get the get that exercise in. Stretch the muscles. Use that fire energy that you have. Okay, use that fire, that inner fire, not to be angry, not to lash out at others. Okay, not to create what you don't want, but to create what you do want. Right, because um, you know, yeah, it's frustrating when it says what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience, as there are unseen unseen factors that need to occur first. So you need to reflect, transition, and release first, right? Before you can get that blessing. Got to in order to bring in that change, okay. Again, wheel of fortune change, receiving the public, you know, the accolades, people actually recognizing your worth, okay. A wonderful win. Now, look at this the Empress and the Sun. Now, that's deep. The Ma Sun, the May Sun, Ma Sun, May Sun, okay. Sag, what you building? What you building? Hmm. You're building a lot. You're building a legacy, okay. You're creating a legacy. Wow, you're creating happiness for all those that are around you. Not just for yourself. You know, you've been working hard. You're a hard worker. You've been working hard to bring in this gift. And it's here for you. It's here for you. Your gift is here for you. Right? You know? But we know that everything stems from the spiritual realm before it can trickle into the physical realm. 
okay the wands is the spiritual the pentacles is the physical so the spirit spiritually <laughs> you you got you got to do the reflection you got to even get up your spiritual exercises not just the physical exercises that's what the connect in nature is all about too all right because dealing with nature is dealing with spirit it goes hand in hand things that come from nature is what we use in our spiritual spiritual tools spiritual modalities all right and i feel like you got the deception card okay someone is wearing a false mask right now when i look at the cards in in reference to love Maybe someone is not being honest about their true feelings about someone. How they really feel. Because it's all positive cards on the table. There's nothing negative on the table. Except for that one. The deception. Whether your interest is, is being um, deceitful about how they really feel. And they really lo in love. Or. That's how you feel. Because we know Sag is... Mm -mm. Ain't like commitment what <laughs> commitment what or oh, there's a hidden pregnancy that's another thing I said I did see preg I'm like pregnancy Empress and the Sun pregnancy or there's a because there's a very strong magnetic connection okay very strong magnetic connection maybe possibly to another fire sign or earth sign okay take what applies and you're getting to know each other okay and maybe that's what it is somebody is holding somebody is holding back a piece of of their true self right because they're afraid that you're going to get to know a part of them. Whether this is you or them. Um, and you may feel like they're not going to like me anymore. They're not going to want me anymore if they find out about this part of me. Nah. I don't see that here at all. At all. Let me read the crystal citrine. One of my favorites. Abundance. See? A stone of joy and abundance, citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you an abundant. You are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an, an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Play joyful play creates a wonderful world. Be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Mm. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. See, letting your feelings flow naturally. Don't try to hold back your feelings. Take time out for joyful play. Self regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Of course, a lucky Sag. Stop worrying, be optimistic, and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition. Mm, mm, mm. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. So maybe you even looking for your family or maybe someone or the matriarch in your family is looking to be praised. Okay. Maybe that's where that was coming in from. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. Timing Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, embodying abundance. That was dope. Dope, dope, dope. Let me just read this confusion. The chakra. Dissipating. You got the yellow, right? Now this is... Um, the story behind this one is that her and her bird, they always would talk about the dreams that they wanted to do and bring to fruition if only they had the money. And then once they got the money, 
they decided not to do it. They just decided to do something else and go on a cruise. So, you know, I feel like it's whatever makes you happy, whatever your joy is, you know. And then here, look at that guilt. Okay. Mm, now look at that. That's a visual. Again, wanting the praise. Like, you know, I've been doing all of this work. I've been enabling you, carrying you, taking care of you. When am I going to get my just due? All right. Now let's see. Confusion. Like I said, this is the, this represents the seventh crown chakra. That's what they have this in this book. As. Silver cloud. When you are in the unknown, it may be a little comfort to know that you are safe understand that your angels have brought you to this point you may need more information at this time remain still and allow inspiration in it will come every silver lining has a cloud Jana climbs faith mountain in dense fog Wondering whether her decision to leave her boyfriend was the right one. There is another man waiting in the wings. There always is. Silver cloud surrounds her and is cold and scary. Despite her confusion, she keeps climbing. As she reaches the summit, the fog clears, revealing the town far below. With Silver Cloud's help, she has journeyed much further than she has realized. She now knows what to do. She begins the long journey home to reclaim her love. Through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. Mm, 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 mm. Can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome? That's what that patience is. Allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions finding love clarity support revelation and it's like these two cards here have the same look at that same vibe yep feeling like it's cold outside Feel, needing to bring back the love and the warmth and the passion and desire okay that's what makes everything. That passion and desire. Fire and desire. <laughs> Woo. All right, Saggies. Thank you for joining me. If this reading resonated, don't hesitate to send a spark of love to your girl, Empress. EmpressGem17 at gmail.com, cash app, and PayPal. All right. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.